Hello, hi there, this is Junior Trader and in this video we'll be taking a look at Tesla stock and we'll be doing some technical analysis looking at the support key resistance levels and identifying the price section and how it has been acting, where does it make sense to go short or long and what can we expect from the price action in coming days. With that, please remember none of this is any financial advice and is only for education purposes. Also, please hit the like and subscribe if you like watching my videos. And with that, let's begin. Now, the very first thing for new viewers, I want to mention that the red line that you see on my chart is 200 days moving average, yellow is 20 days, and the purple is the 50 days moving average. I use them in conjunction to the support resistance levels that you are seeing this, these horizontal lines, purple lines, and yellow horizontal lines as well. Um, that I put together and then uh, alongside with the market sentiment and the price action I come up with my thesis on where do I see price going and for coming days and weeks now as we all know and for the viewers who have been following my channels channel and videos uh, they very well know how I have been covering the short thesis here at the rejection level of this 200 days moving average because it sold very higher significance and then I mentioned that it's going to bounce up from 50 days moving average. But enough of me confirming what I said happened. There are things that when I say they definitely don't happen that way as well. Or at least they follow the direction. But definitely, you know, I don't have a crystal ball, right? So that's why it's all about the game of probability and risk management. Now, what I'm seeing that is Tesla, after it gapped up before the deliveries at to the level of $208, Deliveries came as in per expectations, but they were not over beats, right? So, well, Tesla sold off the next day. You can see how it just plummeted, right? It broke the $200 psychological level and also broke below this consolidation or the support level that it was using at this level of 197, where this had this, you know, slowly, slowly, you know, uh, ripping to the upside. Now, what we want to, what happened today, stock went down again, however, it used 50 days moving average as a good support level. Having said that, even though it's using this as a good support level, but if we jump down to the line chart, you can see it's uh, weakening, right? However, it doesn't go to say that it may not show a bounce tomorrow. It, it may, it may not, we'll see. So, and that's what we will cover. So the price action looks weak, right? Today's candle also is a, you know, big sell off. Now, the key support level right now that I would be watching very closely is $185. Because if and once this level breaks of $185, it's going to break these moving averages as well, 20 and 50, which means it will be all below 200, 20 and 50 days moving average. And I'll be watching this level closely to maybe open a short position. When I say maybe, because I want to say it's not a false breakdown. I want to see a good price action rejecting this level. Now, how to get to this confirmation? Let's jump down to our first, let's say, hourly chart. Now, what we are seeing here in the hourly chart is this today, this huge rejection at this level of 197 on an hourly chart from one of our levels that we drew earlier confirms that this level. So if I see the stock reaching again 197 or $200 level, I will be watching for the double top patterns for intraday trading to play it on the short side. However, this level of 185 that I'm seeing right now, that break of what I would then want to play to the 166 dollars level at least, on the downside to the bearish, is what when it breaks this 185 dollars. And looking at how the price action looks like, I just it just feels like to me it might make a little bit of bounce to at least test this hourly 20 moving average and then from there finally rejects. But that's my read on it. Now, what the levels I'll be looking for the intraday trading, if you wanna trade it intraday, and I would wanna do it using again, our horizontal line here. Let me change it to yellow color just for distinguishing. So very well, the, watch the level of, and this is where it's like, a, yeah, that's where it's acting now resistance, right? Because of these pivot points here. So watch for these pivot points, guys. At $192 around, you would see these two, you know, pivot points, a little bit of resistance over here as well. 
like break to the upside of it i don't really see tesla giving much into the upside because there's this 20 days hourly moving average that's going to act as a resistance um at least on the intraday level um but at the same time if you notice the bottom of this right over here which is around you know 190 dollars break of this can give you the level to play on the short until 185 but 185 dollars once it breaks you have good range of until 178 dollars and then all the way eventually down to 166 dollars but these would be the level i will be watching guys to to play it on the short side tesla is looking big to me again when i say i will be looking to play short is for the intraday only because if you remember on the swing side for which i use my daily uh, interval i really don't like trading the stock as long as it's in this choppy range that's why i want to see the break of 185 first with the confirmation on the swing side that price action is looking weaker under this and then eventually you know i would look for pullbacks to 185 dollars and resisting resistance of this pullback will confirm to the play to the short side but guys um tesla is looking weak just make sure just because it's looking weak doesn't mean that you can just enter your short position anywhere you have to make sure you do account for bounces because it can very well bounce from this 50 days moving average which it did a little bit buyback which is quite normal uh, but yeah you can expect a little bit of bounce back up now just looking at how good it's doing this sell-off this 200 days moving average if the price gets closer to this definitely this is my another position to play short and again as you know i don't really like playing swing longs when it's below 200 days moving average and very close to it and i don't want to play short around this between these moving averages because it's just like a sandwich for me i really don't like trading stocks in this sandwich range um but guys yes that's what you know how i'm looking at tesla stock um it is weak but it's not weak enough that we have confirmation to go short it can be still just choppy for coming days and weeks and that's annoying right tesla we like to see great moves to the up and downside mostly downsides lately right but you know we have had good upside move here right in december sorry january right um but guys yeah play safe um and that's what i all wanted to cover in this video i hope you found it valuable if you did please hit the like and subscribe with that i'll see you in my next video guys take care